What's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at SMCI stock. Guys, wow, what are these moves? Look at them. And also the plays that we have taken. Wow, we have taken so far six plays on SMCI. And out of those six plays, first one, 100% profitable. Second one, 100% profitable. Third one, yeah, ran into the stop loss. That's the name of the game. Fourth one, 50% profitable. Fifth one, $300 moves we captured full profitable, 100%. And then this was my sixth play. And this one was also 100% profitable. And all these plays I have talked about before even these plays have developed for my well on my videos i have talked about these and then as they developed i have just taken those plays i have covered my thinking process with you all and how i trade now that's all the intention of my videos are to only provide educational content as how i am reading the market and trading the market that's all i'm not here to play any role and none of any part in what decisions you go and make that's up to you okay um i mean i have losing days as well that's the name of the game it's all about risk management and you know growing from there so now what is smci doing right now i talked about that i would like to open another short play oh well wait guys i forgot to tell you that none of this is any financial advice only for education purposes okay so I have been say I said that I would want to open another short play if SMCI goes below 50 days moving average, right? Junior Trader, did you open up a short play? Well, let's talk through the video first. So I want I always look for a reaction around these important key areas, the key levels, and in this particular case, being this 50 days moving average as well. So again, I'm never in hurry, I never formal. Well, sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't. It's the part of the journey, the learning process in the market. So the previous candle, the red one there you are seeing, it closed above 50 days moving average, right? We are still technically in the downtrend though, guys, okay? Uh, on the swing side we are still having this head and shoulder formation as well the reasons i am not just going in blind is because i want to see a good entry and a confirmed entry just because it's in the downtrend doesn't mean that rebound can't come all right because in downtrend we can get rebound so i want to make sure my drawdown is not high right so all these things play a critical role because that makes you understand what positions you can take right uh, based on your portfolio management and the size, how much you want to risk in the drawdown as well, right? So all that stuff. So anyways, so this previous red candle, when it closed above 50 days moving average, I did not open yesterday any of the short play. I wanted to see how things turns out. Junior Trader, doesn't mean you opened it today because it opened lower than 50 days moving average. Did you open a short position? Tell us, tell us. Well, wait. Again, I'm not here to tell you what positions I'm taking. That's not the premises of these videos. The vi premises of these videos is to make you understand how to read the price action so that you can go and make your own decisions, whatever you want to make, okay? I'm just providing my opinion, that's all. I don't feel obligated to provide these trades, okay? It's just I'm sharing and my thinking process and the trades if and what I'm taking and when I'm taking, okay? in advance i talk about all of it so here we go now yes we opened below 50 days moving average but I'll, I'll, I'll just answer your question no i did not open the short play right now i i didn't even open the long play for the reasons that as i'm saying i want to see the price action here around 50 days moving average now yes today was a potential day for me to look for a short play but what did i see when the market opened so let's go to the hourly interval Okay, well, we'll have to go to the, uh, sorry, five minutes interval first. So what did I see when the market opened? Well, I saw start, things started to go up, all right? 
I didn't see anything on the five minutes candle that would tell me that it's a short confirmed play and I'll show you how I make those you know decisions so what I saw was this thing was just going up this thing was just going up I didn't see a single sign of rejection and a sell-off and when it started to hold this level at the trend line technically I would want to open up a short play today because it just started to reject underneath of that 50 well it almost went as high as 50 days moving average right but then I didn't see that rejection to the downside it started to get stagnant over there right it started to consolidate so let's go to the hourly interval so also for the reasons that right now yes it's below 50 days moving average but what I'm also seeing is that and it's it's been in a constant downtrend lower highs lower lows no doubt about it it's in the downtrend but the way this hourly candle closed, taking out the pre-market candles, it, for me, right now, is a little bit on the structure consolidation or maybe some upside may continue a little bit. There's a possibility. So for me, at least for me, the confirmation is not there yet if I want to open up this short play. If tomorrow we break below 895, Yes, we we are we did go below nine hundred dollars. That was the area I was watching at fifty days moving average. But the confirmation did not come. The next level I'm watching if tomorrow we break eight hundred ninety five and lower. There's a chance when I say a chance, because I would still want to see is the price action just grabbing some liquidity and how you see that is, well you have to see the areas of where the most uh, stop losses would be at this point guys if anyone is trying to play the bull and based on the consolidation their stop losses are sitting right over here if how where do I show you an example of a liquidity grab let me see if we have any on SMCI a, a candle like this uh, I mean you will have to see on the downside or upside a candle like this that dips lower gets bought back up you know that just then keeps it stagnated there are a lot of other better liquidity grabs uh, that I have showed you on Tesla and a lot of other on daily intervals as well, but that's the concept. Right now, even just as the chart patterns I have seen, yes, it's getting below that 50, almost 50 days moving average, but the way this hourly candle has closed here, this in itself to me is so strong right now, this green hourly candle that I'm just not having any appetite right now to short it. And that's the part of learning through the evolvement of the price action. As price action is evolving, I'm updating my you know, plan on SMCI as well. So in my opinion, tomorrow, SMCI still has a room to continue up as soon as it gets above 50 hours moving average and you can expect it to test 925 and 952. I'll start seeing up there if price action starts to reject again 200 hours moving average if it goes up and this uh, overhead trend line. This is also the reason that just because it has extended lower quite a lot and the way this candle has come today, the green candle, I'm, I'm just not feeling it in the price action. I'm not having that appetite to short it again right now. I just, in uh, what I'm feeling, again, I'm not saying this is guaranteed, but this is my feel is right now of SMC looking at the price section. This may crawl its way a little bit higher right now. This may start to stagnate around here, consolidate around here. And if it goes up and then I see weakness together with this 50 days moving average, then I would short it with some rejection again at like, if it goes up and rejects at around this level of the trend line that I showed you on hourly interval, right? And this 20 days moving average, then I would like to see a break of the structure to the downside. I know it may not look apparent that junior trader, this still looks weak. This is still in the downtrend. Why, why not just short it? Again, you can go and do whatever you want. If you think, yep, this is still a short play, go and do it. But I'm going to you know, I'm going to make my own decisions and I am, at least I'm just not feeling comfortable that I want to short it right now. I want to let it run for a couple of days. And if, if this moves goes without me to the downside, it goes without me. That's fine. You know, I have so many other players running on other stocks as well. So to the upside, it's the, yeah, if this upside has to come, it has a room for this upside, uh, this trend line and 200 hours moving average. 
Um, yeah, guys, it, there, just that the way this hourly candle has come up today, right? This has come up really strong. And then the thing is that on five minutes, it has been holding this level throughout the day, right? So this is, this is the, if it's not breaking tomorrow below 895 level, I'm not looking short. If it breaks below this intraday short, sure. And then if that turns into swing, yeah, then that's a possibility. But uh, this buying that happened today after sell off and it's then come back, came back up and started hanging around here. Oh, sorry. This, this is not my cup of tea to short it into. Okay. This again, I'm not saying it can't go lower, but I, I'm just not seeing that probability of that degree of, you know, uh, confidence into it to, to swing short it intraday short i can do it 895 and above um that's where an alert could be set and then otherwise um yeah it's it's just to me if looks just feels like it has at least a room for a couple of days chop around or go up a little bit so that's just my opinion guys okay just my opinion you can go and do whatever you like Guys, well, um, that's all for this video for SMCI. If you found this video helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. And again, well, so, okay, sorry guys, one more thing before wrapping up. I'm watching this level as well, the level of 856 and 81 cents. Because, so this is, this is what is something, is a play that I want to take eventually if that builds into it, but that is that if it goes a little bit up, bounces up, rebounds a little bit like this, and then tries to come back down and show me shows me weakness at 852, that's when I would want to play this flush down to nine, oh, sorry, 690 uh, from 854. So the thing is that the way it's sticking itself around with the hourly candle as well, the way it has formed and the five minutes, you can see that consolidation building we want to see a red candle like down here we don't want to see it crawling around 50 days moving out with the green candle it's it should like start dropping like that like a flush thing that's when that's a flush continuation and that's why i'm i just feel i'm thinking and it looks like a little bit of a rebound and yeah, but there are events that can happen, black swan event or whatever, but for that it has to lose that level of 870 to give me that flush or at least, yeah, 855 to 870. The flush otherwise right now is just to me looks like it can rebound. Guys, that's all for this video. If you found it helpful, valuable, hit the like, subscribe. And I did a video on Tesla already and other stocks. Check that out on my channel. And with that, I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.